All right, this is just a quick little update on the six passenger limo cart build that I've been working on. Um, I got most of the body painted and cleared uh, this front section and this rear section. I got to finish fiberglassing this center portion. Um, I went up and bought some steel diamond plate. You can see right here, these were 75 inches by three and a half inches long. I got them bolted on there uh, just temporarily. There's going to be some nice looking fasteners on there when it's all said and done, but those are going to be painted black. And then I did get my roof on. Uh, motor's pretty much all done. Chains hooked up, rear sprockets hooked up. I ended up taking that shaft right there up to the machine shop. Uh, and having that thing balanced because I had to take the spline off the original engine that went into that or that went into the rear axle and I had to hook a 5 8 just regular jack shaft section to that spline because I wasn't able to get the whole thing out of the original uh, electric golf cart engine uh, but anyways that's hooked up uh, rear seat kit is on uh, roof is on that roof cost me about 350 bucks uh, Which I wasn't too happy about that but price wise uh, But it made a big difference on the cart. I ended up taking three and a half inches out of These which I still need to come back and grind these down and repaint these uh, Because I couldn't get it out of the garage and I didn't want to do a fold down kit on those i wanted to be able to just pull it straight out so i took a little bit out of that uh, tank is all hooked up i got a pulse pump down here on the side and then i uh, hooked it up to the valve cover in the back back there for my pulse so yeah it's getting there uh, shifter is all hooked up. I got forward, neutral, and reverse. That all works. Um, just finished this portion up. When I got this golf cart, I only had this lower section. So from like here down, that was all I had. So what I did was I went up and got me some steel that uh, it was just big enough for this one inch to slide up inside of there snug and then I basically just built this top half and then welded me some tabs up here to bolt my roof to so I'm going to go through and probably duraglass this kind of round these edges off a little bit make that look a little bit more uh, uh, just make it look better, basically make that all flow together with some Duraglass and I'll paint all this. So it's not just a square cut off section looking area here. Uh, I got to do something right here still for the front of that. But it's getting there. It's came a long way since the little pink golf cart that I brought home. If you look at video number one. Uh, this thing has definitely came a long way. Got the diamond plate on this side. So that's going to be it. Um, I'll come back. I probably won't do too many more videos on this until it's all done. Um, i got to get my seats done and probably get a windshield and dashboard maybe. Uh, but I'm going to do a finished video next. It'll be completely done. I'm going to go through everything from start to finish, what I did on it. Throw some pictures in from start to finish. And uh, it's probably going to be the last video on this thing.